family has two young children, and they are a very loving family, very family-oriented. The space when we first got here was very generic. What they really wanted was less beige, for sure. They wanted to brighten things up, and then they just wanted to have some different vibes in different areas of the house. Overall, all the materials were very natural, yeah. neutral, had a very calming feeling in every room, but then there was definitely punches of each of their individual personalities in each room. That's a good answer. Yeah. Very I liked good. it. <laughs> that was very well done. The kitchen was very beige, so her request was to lighten up the whole space, so white was definitely our starting point for the cabinetry. We had to keep most of the layout, so it was key to work within the parameters, but give them better function, although we did change the island quite, quite a bit, it got bigger. And him being very zen, they didn't want it to feel too sterile, so that's where we brought in the black and the mix of materials and kept the wood floor to make sure it still felt cozy. The view to the back is beautiful. They've spent the time to landscape, so doing the glass table really showcases that, that whole view and opens it up. And then with the drapery, we did a really fun pattern because it's also a focal point from the front door, so we wanted to draw the eye when you come into the back of the house. So we did these magnetic panels, which we painted out white, so they almost just look architectural, but they're actually magnets that you can put art onto with little pin magnets. Yeah, we tried to tie them into the kitchen cabinetry so they felt like they were part of it but it's an awesome area for them to display and all the artwork and then easily change it up. Coming from the kitchen, you can see into the family room. The primary objective was to lighten the space, so we added a nice transom window. There was an existing fireplace, but we also refinished it in something cool and back to that look of natural elements with the wood look. And the built-ins were great because they've got a lot of storage and then they've got you know baskets that we've allocated to each family member. So if you see anything laying around, you're instructed to throw it into that person's box and then it's nice and tidy for everybody. So for both of their offices, <laughs> yeah. um, they're very different. They did have very different personalities that they wanted reflective in the spaces. It doesn't really look like the rest of the house, but you know, you've got that pink accent wall and then the pink chair, the little touch down spot with that pillow and the little extra seat. He wanted it to just feel very calming in there. He does most of his work from home, so he spends a lot of time in there. So that was the main goal for that. We also added built-ins in both the rooms for storage. She was more open to the display where he just wanted less and we did the drawers below. The bathroom upstairs needed a complete overhaul. We had to rejig the layout to get a larger shower and the freestanding bathtub that was a must for her. And we kept the natural look, so we did the flooring, which has that wood look to it. We matched to some of their existing bedroom furniture, so that's where the dark wood came in, and also to bring in that natural element. I think my favorite thing about the house is that each room has a different feel to it. I think this looks exactly like we had hoped it would look, mm -hmm. and their love of the space makes it even better. In the end, it was so rewarding to hear her say that this is the house she's always dreamed of. So it's, our job was done. Once yeah. she said that, we're done. Check. <laughs>